So here I am, I just got to Jesse Robbins' house. Uh, nice place, whole bunch of musical equipment everywhere. The giant fucking dragon right there. <laughs> yeah, sick place, man. Thank you. That's Jesse. How's it going? <laughs> and that's uh, Kyle. So he's yeah, just I'm setting up his new Bose speaker. It actually looks crazily professional. <laughs> I'm gonna check that out. Look at how friggin' tall it is. It's my new baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it as a musician, you could use it as a stripping pole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we decided to come down to the Crystal Beach area over here to shoot a nice interview because it's rather nice out here. And uh, this is Jesse Robbins, he's a local singer songwriter. Hey, Jesse. How's it going? <laughs> uh, do you come here? Because you live right, right around the corner. Do you come uh, here often? I try to come here like every single day if I can. Nice. I do my best too, anyways, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, it's nice meeting you. You too, man. So, Jesse, when did you start playing? Okay, so I started writing and everything when I was younger. I've always enjoyed poetry. I've always enjoyed just writing stories and different things like that. Um, so I've been doing that for a long time. <clears throat> and that slowly progressed and made its way into songwriting. Um, started writing songs for my other friends that wrote guitar and stuff like that. And I'd write lyrics and sing with them. And, um, yeah, I was in a metal band in high school and all that kind of stuff. A but, metal uh, band? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the first time that I, uh, I started playing guitar was um, around grade 10. Um, I had a friend named Mike McGeehan in grade 9 that uh, actually introduced me to playing music and stuff. Um, I'd always had an interest, but none of my friends really played or anything, so it was nice. kind of cool to, uh, to meet somebody that really influenced me in a big way. Um, to pick up a guitar and, and start to play. <laughs> Do you play any other instruments? Um, I play the ukulele just a little tiny bit. Nice. Uh, I was lucky enough to have a song go into rotation um, at West in Alberta. And uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been focusing more on my writing and everything, so. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you, you write a lot of songs, but what was the first song you say you learned? The first song that I learned uh, was actually Adam's Song by Blink-182. Nice. Does that like uh, have a meaning to you? Um, I was always really into Blink when I was younger. Uh, just a teenage angst and whatnot, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't even see, say teenage angst. Like, it was mostly just you know ridiculous jokes and them being <laughs> idiots. But um, yeah, Adam's Song... I, it was always one of my favorite songs by them, so I really enjoyed that one. Nice, I like Blink-182 also. Do you, do you play a lot of shows? Um, yeah, more recently I've been playing quite a few. Uh, I have one coming up tomorrow actually, uh, in Crystal Beach down at the food trucks. Uh, nice. I've been playing for like an hour and a half from 4.30 till 5.30. Uh, then the Young Guns are coming on at 6, so that'll be a show to catch. Um, then on Saturday, there's also, uh, I'm playing at Chuck's Roadhouse in Fort Erie. Uh, I have a few more shows coming up there throughout the month, and also I have a show planned for uh, South Coast and Crystal Beach uh, coming up towards the end of September. So, yeah, I've been playing quite a bit. Um, you can keep up with what I'm doing on my Facebook. I normally try to annoy people as much as I can right before a show, so, you know, <laughs> and just posting as much stuff as possible, get as many people out as I can. So. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you still get nervous before shows? I know you've been playing for a bit, but you never know. Um, yeah, I find that I get nervous before a show, but I, I think it's a good thing to get nervous before a show. Yeah. It kind of keeps you on point, keeps you, I don't know, I, it makes me realize that I'm there for a purpose, like I'm there to entertain people, I'm not just there to mess around. It's not a campfire, you know what I mean? And. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy that, actually. I, I think it's one of the aspects that I actually, um, yeah, it's so one of the reasons that I kind of like it. It gives me an adrenaline kick. And, so you yeah. stand up in the face of adversity. Yeah, yeah. That's you just, awesome. You got you to gotta go against it no matter what, so. <laughs> what would you say uh, your biggest struggles are as a musician? My biggest struggles, uh, I would say 
when I get writer's block. Um, sometimes I have, you know, months at a time where I can't get anything out on paper. Uh, but during those times, I'm generally still messing around with my, <clears throat> with my guitar and writing, uh, you know, writing different music and stuff like that. So when I am able to write again, I have, you know, some music to write to anyways. That's always kind of nice, but... Um, yeah, I'd say that that's probably, personally, my biggest struggle is just those times when you can't seem to get it out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is frustrating. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, that, one thing I haven't asked you yet is your musical inspirations, favorite bands, you know? So, I enjoy a lot of the oldies. Um, the Beach Boys were always a big, big influence of mine. It was, like, my first CD when I was younger. Uh love the Beatles. My uncle had Beatles albums. I used to put those on when I go to his house. Um, Johnny Cash, uh, Blink-182, like I said before. Um, honestly, there's there's so many. Rage Against the Machine. Uh, yeah, and, you know... That's You're a, very that's omnidirectional much. with yeah, yeah, everything. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the odd time you'll catch me just blasting some Frank Sinatra. So, like everything. You know, man. like so it just <laughs> depends on the mood and whatnot, I guess. Uh, yeah, I draw my inspiration from, from as many people as I can. So. <laughs> well, it was uh, nice ta chatting here on the beach. Yeah, man. And uh, I don't know if we're done hanging out yet, but that's it for the interview. If yeah, you wanna... yeah. We'll go and uh, check out some more stuff and play you guys a song or two, I guess. Eh? Nice. Cool. Awesome. We'll check it out on that new Bose. All right. All right, tune is finally over. Um, now you're going to play a song. What song are you going to play? Um, so yeah, this song is called One of a Kind. Um, it's a brand new song that I just wrote like a few weeks ago. So... Yeah, we're in the middle of recording it and stuff, and hope you guys dig it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they will. Alright, so yeah, one of a kind.
Nice. <laughs> what did you think, Kyle? Woo! <laughs> <laughs>